if you want to loop through a vector uh, you can use for loop um, now if you are following the example which we've been discussing in the last few videos we have uh, read friends.csv in a friends data frame and then uh, using this double square bracket uh, we were able to take the second column of the data frame and convert it into a vector so now this friends with a uh, second with uh, index 2 inside this double square bracket is basically a vector uh, so you can I'll just paste some of the code so you can use the syntax to iterate through this vector and this vector holds uh, the value of or the number of friends for each of the respondents um, this variable basically this is an iterator and this will hold the item from within this vector for the current iteration so for the first iteration this uh, friends variable will hold the first item of the vector for the second iteration friend will hold the second item of the vector for the third iteration friend will hold the third item of the iteration of the vector so if i just print out if i just print out this friend uh, variable so if, if i say friend if i just loop through this um, if i just execute this code what you'll see is that we have now in fact let me just control l just clear it and just so that we have a clean view so you will see that the loop has executed and friend variable is printed uh, and in the first iteration friend has the value 0 in the second iteration friend has the value 69 in third iteration friend has the value 123 and 123 was just a number of friend a number of friends um, for the third respondent um, so yeah that's how you can iterate through a vector uh, and um, you can use the iterator variable this is what we call an iterator you can use an iterator variable uh, to to inspect uh, the value um, inside your vector for the current iteration so you can use this uh, uh, for loop to print out a similar kind of output which we um, were printing out uh, using a repeat uh, block so I've commented out these two lines let's just uh, take these two line of lines of code um, control C and I will basically put it inside this for loop and now I will execute this code again so what it what it will do is that it I've what I've done is that I've basically uh, started incrementing this respondent number so that we can print out uh, the responses from each of the respondents and of course friend will have uh, the value uh, for friends um, the number of friends for uh, the current iteration and if I execute this we can see all the responses and we can see respondent number one has zero friends respondent number two has 69 friends respondent number three has 123 friends so it's a slightly different approach to what we were doing uh, use uh, when we were using the repeat block uh, but you can have a similar kind of output um, using the for loop as well